Ladies and gentlemen, my guest today is one of the biggest musicians in the world. Baby, dancing in the dark, you between the Listening to our favorite song, I have faith in what I see. Now I know I have met an angel in person. She looks perfect, though I don't deserve this. You look perfect tonight. Please welcome Ed Sheeran! <laughs> I didn't know they were actually newspapers. Yes, yeah. yeah. Move it yeah. around. Take Where did you, get, did you get them from, like, a hoarder's house or something like that? <laughs> we, uh, yeah, we waited outside the tube and, you know, all the papers aren't handed out. We just nicked them, turned them into a little... But I like it. Like, like seriously, you just take the ones that... No I one have no idea how they're... Right. <laughs> <laughs> that, I, stayed, I stayed at a dude's house that his dad was a hoarder and the whole house was just newspapers. So... Who haven't you stayed with? Because uh, I really you, yeah. OK. Where's the invitation? OK. Um, <laughs> do you want to have a, a sleepover around mine? <laughs> how, are you, how are you with dogs? You all right with dogs? Yeah, it depends how big. It's a little dog. Uh, yeah, li little dogs. Jack fun. Russell, yeah. very fond of humping a pillow, but he likes you to watch. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's very much a performance. Cool, I'm in. Have you got animals? Uh, I've got two cats, yeah. I heard that you had an otter that... Um, that killed things. Yeah, I have. Well, have it, you seen this headline? It's the craziest headline. It's not necessary. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> uh, it's not. Ne it's, it's not. It's not my otter. Basically, my garden has a lot of wildlife in it. Yes. And uh, I'm all up for wildlife being in my garden. So I bought a load of fish. The otter ate all the fish. <laughs> And so I bought some more fish. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm kind of. Uh, I think there's another. I think there's two otters now, and there's barn owls, there's hedgehogs. It's like, yeah. I'm, but the otter. I can just imagine the otter sitting in a pond with like a top hat and a cigar, because <laughs> it's been it's been eating like expensive koi fish. I've had to like start buying like right. cheap <laughs> fish now. How cool! So you've got like, the poshest otter ever. He's just sat there eating sushi from Ed Sheeran's pond. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. have you given him a name? I reckon. I reckon Philip. Philip and Liz. Philip the otter. Philip. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> How's it been? Is everyone enjoying today? That's yeah. Good. I love that. That's so pretty. It's like, that makes it sound like you came on. Has this been all right? It's been... We, we've had fun. It's okay. been all right. <laughs> what I love about you... Um, like I've only met you... We, we did Jonathan Ross... Well, we, we were on the show. We didn't... That would have that made the news. But <laughs> we were... That's, that's... And that's an image, isn't it? But... I asked you to come on the show, and you just went, yeah, all right. And it's so amazing. You're, like, one of the biggest musicians in the world. And the fact that you went, yeah, all right. I, I have a... I mean, I'm not, I'm not perfect, but I have a real pet peeve when people are like, hey, I'll see you next week, and then yeah. you just never do. And, like, I've definitely been someone that's done that, but, like, when you were like, do you want to come on the show? And I was like, yeah. In my mind, I was like, well, I said yes, so I will do it. So, okay. like, yeah. So Did you instantly regret saying yes? <laughs> no. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, is it, like, I didn't, I didn't know, it'd be, like, it's, it's, a, I'm, it's simple. Like, I live down the roads, I'm going to be here for this interview, and then I, I go back. So it's like, it's not like I'm here for, like, a big hoo-ha and... So what's happening while, while you're away? Is your girlfriend um, cooking any food? Chicken soup. Chicken soup. I don't know about that. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get you a delivery. Mm, yeah. <laughs> is it weird when you get a delivery and people, oh, you open the door and people go, oh, my God, is that Sheeran? No, that actually, like, I... Thought that would happen more. It doesn't. They're just kind of like, right? Like it. Like I, I don't. I don't know if they don't know or don't care, but it's one of the two. Really? Yeah. Maybe they're scared of the otter. They're just. Like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I haven't got. I haven't got a delivery in a while. I changed. I've lost my bank card, and now I. I cool. I just... Jesus. Who? <laughs> Some lucky bastard had an evening there. Didn't they? <laughs> just imagine that. Head cheering. Ah! They probably, you know what, they probably did. I didn't cancel it for about two months. They probably did. <laughs> I feel that, the jealousy in the room. 
<laughs> um, uh, and your arm, you can't really see, but your arm, last time we sh I saw you, it looked... Yeah, great. I've got this little plastic thing now. Yes. That you can screw on and screw off. Oh, nice. And I've had been having to do my hand exercises, which is horrible. But how does it work? Because presumably, are you itching to write songs? Uh, I guess what I'm I've asking... Actually, I've actually been writing songs, actually in the studio today, writing songs. But, like, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> well, I thought, I thought if I'm, if I'm going to be, like, not able to tour for a month, I might as well make, make the most of it. So, uh, yeah. um, so I have been writing songs, but I haven't been touching instruments. So um, it's been more like, can you play that chord, please? And, yeah. yeah. Do you ever hum your own songs? Uh, the unreleased ones. I always, like... I like the songs that people haven't heard, and I always say, like, whenever I release my songs, they're no longer my songs, cos they're, like... Okay. You know, a song like Perfect that you just played is, yes. like, some people's first dance or some people's first kiss, or, like, it's like... Oh, there you go. <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, it's... I feel like as soon as they're released, they belong to other people, but before they're released, they belong to me, and yes. they're, like, my songs, and I like them, but, um... Not that I don't like the ones that are released, just that, uh, when... <laughs> When they, when, when, when they come out, I lose that sort of connection with them. You know, that sort yeah. of, like... Oh, I would feel weird if I was if I hummed Shape of You in the shower, but there might be, like, a new song that I've just written that yeah. I hum, you know? Yeah, yeah, Cos that's what I was thinking, cos I love that... I'm in love with your body... <laughs> but I was thinking it would be the creepiest thing if you ever sang that to your girlfriend, wouldn't it? <laughs> like, yeah. like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's such a great song and we can have sex whilst it's on in the background, but <laughs> I, if you were going... <laughs> it would just be like, whoa! It's usually... It's, it's usually we both get drunk and sing Ronan Keating. Oh, do you? <laughs> From Mary's <laughs> and Harry... <laughs> it is that for you. <laughs> that's, that, that's usually what I would sing to her. Oh, really? A bit... <laughs> <laughs> so that's how I'll you see get... him tomorrow, actually. Oh, really? I played his wedding, actually. Did you? Yeah, I played his wedding. It was good. Uh, that was another one. He, he, I, I, got, I met him in a bar in New York, and he was like, you want to play my wedding? And I was like, all right. And then just, like, a year later, he was like, well, my, my wedding's this weekend, and I ended up doing it. It was another one that I, you know, said yes to. And... Who would you have playing at your wedding? Um, I don't know. There's an Amer American singer-songwriter that's all with me called Ben Queller that has a song that's quite special to me, but no-one's heard of him, so, um, over I, here, anyway. Yeah. I know yeah. Ben Queller. Yeah. Oh, you do? Yeah. But I meant, like... That's really... That sounds really mean of me to no, say no, that. No, no, no. Like, I mean, like, it, 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 uh, he's not, like, on top 40 radio. Yes. That's what, that's, but it's your that's wedding. What I mean. You do what you want. Yeah. Have you ever been heckled? Uh... That's the worst heckle you've ever had. Shall I go first? I'd, yeah, you... I don't think it's common in music to get heckled. I once heckled. had a dildo thrown at me at a gig in Romford. <laughs> You're, you must have had a good reply to that. It hit me in the face. <laughs> um, I tried to dodge it like Neo from The Matrix. <laughs> and my comeback was, how little faith did you have in this evening that you brought a sex to it? <laughs> <laughs> she was just there, kind of going, yeah, in case you shit about this. <laughs> but does it not really exist? Does it not really happen in music? Then? No, I don't know. Do you know what? Like, it, earlier on in my career, when I had, like, one hit single, yeah. there would, was the odd gig where people would just shout, oh, play that song! And you'd be like, I'll, I'll get to it. I'll play it last, so you'll stay. Yeah, yeah. You know? but, uh, <laughs> but, yeah, that doesn't really happen anymore. Thank the you. other thing I've, I, I, I like about you, and I mean this as a compliment, you're very normal. I think it's a really... No, but do you know what I mean? It's very... Yeah. I, just, I don't mean that in a rude way, but I like... I was thinking about you today. That sounds. I was. Yeah, <laughs> I was in the bath thinking about you. But I was. I was thinking like you so see, you're taking a break. But what do you do for you know when you have downtime? What do you do? Because uh... you look like kind of guy. Don't mind me saying this. You look like your house is a fucking mess. <laughs> like, <laughs> but I mean that in a, in a good way. Like, it was. I don't imagine you know it's it neat. Was. Imagine there's stuff everywhere. It was before before I had a female influence in my life. Yeah. It was. It was. It was. Uh... I imagine you led on the sofa with a TV remote just out of reach and you pretending you're a Jedi. <laughs> just... <laughs> you know what? I'm not a big... I'm not a big TV... I'm not a big TV watcher. I, uh, I, I, I find myself... I, honestly, in my spare time, and this sounds really boring, but music is my hobby. Yes. So in my spare time, I do my... I, like, will go into the studio or I'll, like, go and play a show somewhere. I'll just, like, turn up somewhere or do... Or do I, I, I really enjoy doing But actually, like, other than that, I don't know. I used to make Lego, which was pretty... <laughs> Someone told me that was quite weird to do. That's um, right. And what... Do you know what? I love, I love a good pub. I love a good pub. I love a good, like, fire, bangers and mash, ale. There's a drinking game that I want to tell you about. Have you ever... <laughs> Have you ever heard about it? We, I mentioned this earlier in the show. Are you familiar with uh, Bumblebee? 
<laughs> this is a drinking game that my mate Steve invented, that basically you eat a tin of sweet corn, <laughs> you drink a pint of Guinness, and the competition is to see who can poo out the longest bumblebee. <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, I, uh, so, I've just toured with this guy uh, that... Uh, I won't mention his name, but you can Google who's just been on tour with me, you can probably guess. And uh, he, uh, um, he said he tried one day, he had corn for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then the next day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, to see if he could have an all-corn shit. <laughs> <laughs> and he said he did. He said, did he? Yeah, I think, you know, it's, uh, it's definitely do try this at home exercise. <laughs> It's that funny thing, because everyone thinks that touring is just sex, drugs, rock and roll. It's just <laughs> the idea that this bloke's testing himself. You think it's rock and roll, but... Um, ironically, the most rock and roll people that I've met are the least rock and roll people that you think. Like, someone... So, Who is the most rock and roll person you've met? Do you know what? A lot of the uh, late 90s, 2000 boy band people that I met, like... Are like you Are talking five? I haven't met... Oh, I've met some of five. No, but I... Haven't... Who's the wild ones? I, we, don't, I, mean, I don't want to tell tales out of school, but, like, okay. I'm just saying all the people that you don't think are getting up to shit, yeah. getting up to shit. Really? Yeah. <laughs> but, see, now we're going to sort of try and guess who they are. I feel like I'm putting my foot in shit. No, it's here. fine. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Like, problem is, the problem is what I found recently about coming on to do interviews is, yes. like, the next day there's, like, four different Daily Mail headlines. Right. Like, yeah, I've, I always, like... Put Does that my... piss you off? I'm sure it pisses off the people that I put under the bus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you seem like such a like upbeat guy. What annoys you? Have you got what are your your peeves? Uh, entitled people. Yes. I hate. I, 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 and especially like, I find it a lot in my business. Um, wealthy people who think they're entitled. Right. And, uh, so we make it a very clear thing. Like a, a, the, most people do paid for meet and greets and you can sell the front seat and uh, front seats and there's like a VIP package and like we've always been very vocal about not doing that because I, I think correct it's, well yeah I just think absolutely it, I just think it's a bit weird to like offer someone whose dad's richer the chance to do something that you yeah so like uh, that that that's what piss, pisses me off and when people come and be like uh, I'll I'll buy the front row. I'll give you this amount of money. And you're like, you know, uh, no. Like, and that, yeah, that that's what pisses people that think they can just buy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you interested in politics? Is it, is that something that? Yeah, I'm very pers personally. Yeah. I am professionally. I stay I stay out of it. I think um, you know. I think it's it, my job is to make. I think it's to encourage people to be aware and to take an interest in it, but not tell them how to think. I think that's like, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be like you. Very have... eloquently put. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, I feel like music is people's escape from that. You know, yeah. like people like, th there's, there's political music you can listen to, but like, I've never made a political song in my life, and I don't think people look to me for that. But I guess that's the thing, isn't it? That, that it was a big summer, it was a huge summer this year with the election and things like Grenfell happening, and then a moment like Glastonbury. That is a moment of pure escapism for everyone because, you know, people can watch you smash a massive gig and it's just a whole night of Wee! So there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. How scary was that, headlining Glastonbury? Pretty... How many shits did you have before the gig? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, uh, just absolutely bricking it. Or... Probably one or two, yeah. Probably one, like, solid and one not so solid. <laughs> <laughs> but do you, have that, do you have any sort of pre-gig rituals? No, I used to... I, I gave up smoking in May for the first time. Like, I actually have never given up smoking, so, like, it... Wow! <laughs> but my, uh, I smoked for... <clears throat> I smoked for 13 years. You must have been dying for a fag before that. No, though. but that's the thing, man. Do you, know, do you know what it was? I don't know if anyone's given up smoking here before, but uh, the, uh, the thing that did it for me was I, I went out... It, it was my girlfriend's birthday, and I was stayed up quite late with one of her friends, and we just chained smoke. I must have had about 60, 60 cigarettes. I was just rolling, smoking, rolling, smoking, rolling, smoking. And I woke up the next day, and I was like, right, I've reached my limit. Oh, really? I can't, I can't take any more. And then just, yeah, I, just, I didn't do it again. I was a bit like that with mini cheddars. <laughs> like, I, I used to love, you just ruined him. I used yeah. to love mini cheddars as a young man, and then when I was eight, I just turned to mum and said, "It has to stop now." Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You I feel like I feel like that with, with with ice cream. Do you? I did an ice cream eating contest in America. Where um, was? It's in Rhode Island, and you know I'm a quite a competitive person. I went <laughs> I went in this ice cream place, and there was this challenge, and there was two quite obese people on the wall that had done it, and I was like, oh, I can fucking do that, <laughs> and uh, it was. Uh, I can't remember how much it was, but um, uh, it was a huge, huge, huge bowl. 
and uh, I finished it. Did you? Yeah, in a, it took me half an hour to finish it, and it kind of, like, you could feel it come up to here, and I was shiver shivering by the end of it, but I was with... Um... So you were on that wall? Well, this, so, yeah, I am on the wall, and I've got the T-shirt. Yep. And, uh, uh, but I was with... It was, near, it, it was near Taylor Swift's house, and I was with Taylor, and whenever Taylor goes anywhere, so do 40 teenage girls. So I'm kind of, like, eating this with, like, 40 teenage girls being like, you can do it, you can do it. And I was like, yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. <laughs> and then uh, I finished, and I took the picture and, and everything, and then I was like, oh, it's, it's not staying down. And I ran, <laughs> I ran in the toilet and grabbed my mouth and just, it just projectiled oh. out, of my, <laughs> out of my nose all over the toilet floor. Now, now, what does melted chocolate ice cream on a toilet floor look like? <laughs> Particularly, you've got 40 teenage girls outside with their phone cameras, and I'm like, what do I do? Yeah. <laughs> they're just going to think that I, like, couldn't control... Like, I had a bad curry or something, and, like... <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, I just spend another hour just, like, mopping it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a perfect way of, it, of, of ending the interview. Uh, do you know what? Thank you so much for coming on. Thank man. you. It was an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the wonderful... Oh, cheers! Thanks, mate. Thank you.